Many of my subscribers have asked me the following questions. Is dairy milk harmful for humans? Should children be given dairy milk? And what are the plant-based substitutes for dairy milk? So, this special Manchanmal episode is exclusively dedicated to answer these questions for you based on my understanding and perspective. Namaskaram, I am Sujata, an educator in biology and environmental science, a health and wellness consultant and your host on Manchanmal. Before I start sharing my perspective on dairy milk, I would like to make a confession. Though I am a vegetarian, I do use dairy products. I use dairy milk in my tea and coffee and as a true South Indian, I do like my dollop of ghee in hot rice and curd rice is my favorite. Occasionally, I do use paneer, butter, etc. more for satiating my taste rather than from the nutritional point of view. At the same time, in the journey towards sincerely finding out answers to these questions, I have come to realize that in today's context, the use of milk and milk products have several issues connected towards our health from the ecological point of view and animal cruelty also. I have also come to realize that from the nutritional point of view, dairy milk can be replaced by healthier plant-based alternatives. So, let's begin. Is dairy milk harmful to humans? This is a very tricky and sensitive question, isn't it? Here's a philosophical perspective worth pondering over. Humans are the only species that consume milk as an adult, that too of another species. No other species in nature does this. But having said that, I have grown up with my parents giving me a glass of warm milk at bedtime. Our Indian systems of medicine like Ayurveda also give a lot of importance to milk. For example, the Ashtanga Sangraha, an ancient Ayurvedic text, has a complete section titled Kshira Varga, which describes milk and milk products. In our mythology, cow's milk has been called Amrita or a nectar of immortality. The milk of Kamadhenu, that is Lord Indra's celestial cow, was said to have divine and medicinal properties. But back then, milk came from traditional Indian breeds that were allowed to roam freely and graze freely. Veterinary medicine was an extension of home-based traditional medicinal systems. But that was then, this is now, things have changed, I don't know how. Today, almost all the milk that most of us consume come from livestock that are largely restrained in cow sheds and fed on commercially grown fodder and supplements. Commercially grown fodder uses fertilizers and pesticides. The indigenous breeds have almost completely been replaced by imported breeds such as Jersey or Holstein, chosen purely for their high milk yield potential. These breeds, unfortunately, are far more vulnerable to diseases. The predominant veterinary system of medicine used is allopathy-based. Since the animals are frequently sick, various medicines like antibiotics are routinely used. In addition, there is unapproved use of certain hormones like oxytocin in the mistaken notion that this increases milk yield. Here is a not so fun fact. The use of the drug diclofenac in livestock management has resulted in almost complete extinction of the three vulture species in India. White-backed vulture, long-billed vulture and slender-billed vulture. Although banned for veterinary use now, it is still in use illegally. The vulture population decline stands at 99%. Milk from the cow will last unspoiled for less than 24 hours without refrigeration. But for fresh milk to reach from farm to table usually takes much more than 24 hours. Packaged milk tetra packs offer up to 6 months shelf life. All this obviously means that chemicals are added to prevent spoilage. Here is the worst part. Addition of chemicals like urea, detergent, etc. is also happening at the farm level to make the milk more sellable. So, is it not inevitable that these chemicals are found in the milk that we consume? Many of these chemicals are cancer-causing and disrupt endocrine or hormone functions. So, and how can we forget lactose intolerance? Lactose is a sugar found in dairy products 
and people who are lactose intolerant they do not have the enzyme lactase in their intestines to digest this lactose so as a result when they have dairy products this lactose goes undigested from the small intestine into the colon where the colon bacteria act on it and produce feeling of indigestion diarrhea bloating and people suffer through this so the option for people who are lactose intolerant is to completely avoid dairy products in our eagerness to improve our health and nutrition we are perhaps unknowingly destroying it so is dairy milk harmful for humans in today's context unfortunately yes can children be given dairy milk you've seen how commercial dairy milk is produced so then you can decide here i have a few points to add If you can manage to find a farm where traditional Indian livestock breeds are bred, secondly they are allowed to roam freely and thirdly they are given organic fodder grown in the same farm, then that milk would definitely be safer. But in the present circumstances for you to find such a farm is practically very difficult and second in veterinary medication allopathic medication is just inescapable so it is best to use milk in diluted form and in moderation fermented foods such as curd and buttermilk are better because they enhance the nutritional value so they should be preferred over plain milk you can refer to the link above of a video on krishna's probiotic secrets Up until now I have not even touched on the ethical and ecological aspects of dairy milk production. It is a whole depressing story and we will reserve it for another episode. That brings us to the third and inevitable question about what are the alternatives to dairy milk? From a nutritional perspective, you are probably looking at milk as a source of protein and calcium. For these there are enough and more non dairy or plant based options. For example, data suggests that ragi has 3 times more calcium than milk. It's no surprise that scientists are calling moringa a herbal gold. It's almost a believe it or not. Check this out. 4 times more calcium than milk, which means 25% more than even ragi. 63 times more potassium than milk which means 3 times more than even bananas 2 times more protein than milk it almost seems too good to be true i am sure you are aware that milk or meat are not the only sources for protein most of us are of course familiar with legumes and pulses as being very rich in protein so milk made of peanuts or soya bean are by default rich in protein but there are very many more sources of plant based proteins other examples include nuts like almond seeds like chia and sunflower grains like brown rices quinoa and oats and even aquatic plants like spirulina all types of beans are of course very rich in protein but protein is also found in other vegetables like broccoli potato sweet potato or greens like spinach and amaranth as we have already seen drumstick leaves have more protein than milk many fruits too have some protein content and that is not all even mushrooms are known to have protein in them so if you ensure a diverse and balanced diet you can easily get all the protein your body needs even if you completely eliminate dairy and meat from your diet as plant based milk sources the options that can be used include groundnuts almonds cashews coconut sesame roasted black gram or even ragi or finger millet check out the link above on the episode on how to make vegan chocolate milk shake at home do watch the episode until the mul point where we have discussed a lot of plant based options to dairy milk Also check out this episode on how to make vegan curd at home using peanut milk using a non dairy starter culture for fermentation. So to sum up introduce your children to plant based milk sources too to moderate the risks without compromising on the nutritional aspect and it is best to avoid total dependence on dairy milk. Did you find the answers to your question on dairy milk? If yes, do press the like button so that YouTube knows that more people would like to see these videos. Or have you ended up with more questions? 
If that's the case, do put in your questions in the comment section below. And if there are lots and lots of questions, I can definitely plan another episode. I'm sure you will have many friends or parents with similar questions. Do not forget to share this video with them so that it will be a real eye opener for them too. So, to sum up, do introduce your children to plant-based milk sources also, to milk sources also, so that the risks get more. So, to sum up, introduce your children, introduce your children to plant-based milk. So, to sum up, introduce your children. To me, ko aisa dek mat hasne ko aara hai. Start. <laughs> so, to reduce the risk involved. Nahin, children to plant-based milk sources too, to avoid. श्रीकांत ये बहुत डिफिकल्ट हो रहा है Hey, have you subscribed to Manchin Mal? Do click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive notifications of my newest videos uploaded every Saturday.